Hey, I'm playing Those Were The Days, my friend. Straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, and you can play along with me. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. After the song, I'll do a basic tutorial together with a slow motion close-up play along you might find helpful. Now here goes. Upon a time, there was a tavern where we used to raise a glass or two. Remember how we laughed away the hours. Think of all the great things we would do. Those were the days, my friend. We thought they'd never end. We'd sing and dance forever and a day. We'd live the chance I'd see you in the tavern. We'd smile at one another and we'd say, those were the days, my friend, we thought they'd never end. We'd sing and dance forever and a day. We'd live the life we choose, we'd fight and Nothing seemed the way it used to be In the glass I saw a strange reflection Was that lonely woman really me? That does sound like a strange reflection Those were the days, my friend If you thought that ending was a little bit over dramatic, you're right. It was. I'm pleased about that. All right. Uh, by the way, that came from an original, actual Russian, traditional Russian song. The, not the English version, but, you know, uh, the English words were written based on the Russian song that I can't pronounce. So, good for them. And thank you for uh, whoever the Englishman or American or New Zealander or whatever, the English-speaking person who, who brought it to me. Very cool. All right. Strum. The strum, when I did a strum, easiest strum ever. 
I called it a backbeat down strum because there were just downs, right? And every second one was the strong one. Second and fourth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Using all four fingernails. So I, I'm going to do the chorus here. Those were the days my friend with the maiden. Right? That's it. I'm just kind of hitting the strings once. And then, and then I'm strumming. Right? With all four fingernails. That's what I'm doing. No, but I am doing something a little different in what I called a dramatic arpeggio. Now, you can do whatever you like in there, but drama is the key. So, if you can't do arpeggios, if you're a beginner, you don't want to work that hard, or you just haven't learned that yet, that's fine. I'd suggest you still go for drama. What does that mean? Well, it starts out, the intro starts out with the backstreet, backbeat strum, right? The down strum. And now we go into the arpeggio. Here's what I do, and I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you what I do there in just a moment. But first, if you don't want to, if you can't do anything like that, or you don't want to work that hard, you can just do. Okay, that would that would be all right. Here's what I did. I'm taking an index finger and going down smoothly once. And then, yes, I have a I have a low G ukulele. You might have a high G. Be like this. Be here instead of here, right? It's okay. It'll still work. Or you can play, um, if you prefer to play just the high notes, it might sound a little better. Whoops. You could do that. Um, I didn't specify an arpeggio. Again, I'll show you what I did. But I didn't specify it because it's not that important. Creating drama is what's important. So you could just do... You could do that, right? I'm just plucking the lows, these two strings, but you can... Here I am plucking the middle two. That would be exactly the same as if I was playing a high G ukulele. Once upon a time, there was a tavern, right? Where I used to raise a glass or two. That would work just fine. Um, by the way, the bold, bright red chords, uh, in the middle, I... I on the second page, it's a, it's up a key, but in the first page, it's an A suspended fourth and an A fifth. All I'm doing, it's not that hard. I've got an A. I'm dropping. Okay, that's kind of a stretch. Some of you with short fingers are going to have a hard time with that one, but still. That's what I'm doing. I'm stepping up this C string. It starts here. That's what I'm doing. That's what those things do, but you can skip them. If you want to just play an A... That's fine. So here's the simple version. Once upon a time there was a tavern Where we used to raise a glass or two Remember how we laughed away the hours Think of all the great things we would do Now I'm going to show you what that riff is, but that's not easy either. If you practice, you can do it. Oh, if you have five fingers. If you have less than that, you still might be able to do it, depending on which fingers you have. So now I'm going to show you what I did. I just I just showed you the easy version. I said you can skip the the um, all the arpeggio that I did, and you can skip the uh, bright red chords. And yes, I'm going to go into the the key change too. But first, I'm going to show you what I actually did. It starts with the the intro, right? I'm I'm. I'm here, I'm coming from the E to an A minor. So I've got my index finger on the A minor here, right? That's what I'm doing. Actually, I might not always use those. No, I use the index finger. I'm trying to figure out because now I'm holding my ukulele up. It feels a little strange. All right, so here's what I'm doing. Down strum, just like I did, I told you, right? And because I have a low G, I'm, this is my bass note here, you know, and I'm, I'm sort of winding up, right? So I'm sort of stepping up it. By the way, most of the time with arpeggios, most of the time, and I'm about to break this rule, most of the time with arpeggios, I got four strings, I only need four fingers, a pinky, not used most of the time. I've got a finger on each string, 
that's its home position, right? So most of the time, if this, if this string needs to be plucked, that's the finger that does it. If this one, that's the finger that does it. Most of the time. And the start of it, it works that way. One, two, three, right? Actually, I'm doing... I'm actually going straight, straight from the ceiling to the floor. But the last one I do, instead of just doing the fourth, I'm gonna, I have my, my ring finger on the C here, right? Uh, it's on the um, A string, but here's what I'm gonna do with my fingers. So I, I'm, I got it third position, first string, right? Then second position, third string. Then open. Then I drop it on the second string. Okay, and now because I have to do, because I have to do it quick, I could do it with one finger. But what I do instead, I guess maybe I am just using my ring finger on that. I am. I, I was about to tell you I was gonna break that rule, but I'm not actually. So I go the A minor, the three, and then I'm going to pluck this one. Two of them at once. And then my ring finger, and then middle finger. That's the whole thing. Sorry. And you could practice it like this for 10 minutes if you want. You'll probably hate the song then, but if you're having a hard time with it, just practice it until you don't have to look and you don't have to think about it, and you can do it smoothly, right? By the way, I only do that in the intro to each verse. I don't do it during the verse. You could. You could do it in the first line of each verse, but I don't. So, I do that once. Uh, so there's the intro. And then I stop it, but I keep doing the same basic arpeggio, just not without the riff. Once upon a time there was a tavern. That's what I'm doing. Down, one, two, three, pluck, one, two, three. That's what I'm doing. Once upon a time there was a tavern where we used to, and now I switch it up again. So I've got an A and I'm gonna do a suspended fourth and a fifth. And in order to make those sound, because it's on this string, it's not as obvious as this one. You can hear that because it's high, right? This one isn't quite so obvious, so I do it this way. I'm plucking these three. They're low three strings all at once. So, one, two, three. Pluck all three. Pluck all three. And then I'm back. of all the great things we would do. Oh, now I switch. Here we go. So here's how I do that. I got an E, right? I'm all I'm messing with is this string, this C string again. I want to I want that's on the E and I want it to sound like this. So here's how I do it. I do the E and then I'm just plucking the the two strings closest to the ceiling. That's it. Those were the days, my friend. Okay, so that's it for the first page. But then the second page, drama hits again. Da 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 da. F. This is a key shift transition. And then I'm going to do essentially the same thing, but it's in a little different places because of the key. Moving up one fret. Now you notice I got the B flat minor here. I'm barring and I got ring finger dropped and now I have less fingers available to work with. So my pinky is doing all the work on this one. So down, one, two, three, pluck, drop that pinky. Same thing. It's exactly the same as before, except the pinky has to do all the work. Oops, messy. Through the door there came familiar left 
enter. Same arpeggio. Down, one, two, three, pluck, one, two, three. I saw, oh sorry, I saw your face and, and I'm gonna do the same thing, but now I have to do all the work with my pinky again. I have to stretch really far. It's hard for me. I saw your face and heard you call my name. So did you see that? Oh, my friend, we're older but no wiser. For in our hearts the dreams are still the same. And these are in a little bit different place because I've got an F here instead of an E. This is actually a lot easier than the one I did on the E a moment ago. Sorry. So I'm got an E, right? I'm dropping. Sorry, you got an F. I'm dropping my ring finger on the second string, second fret. And I'm plucking again. I'm still plucking these three together. Pick it up and then pinky on the fourth fret. Third string from the floor. Sorry. That was the wrong one. I'm going to do that again. And make like you're making an F7. You're going to drop your ring finger on the third string, third fret. So. Those were the days, my friend, we thought they never end. And yes, the chords are harder when you go up a fret. They are. But they're not crazy hard. Let me show you how I do the transitions. Actually, first I'm going to show you the transitions for the rest of the song. So, I'm back to the start of verse 1. Once upon a time there was a tavern where... Okay, just drop a pinky, or just drop a finger, right? You got your A. And you can do your extra two A's or not. But either way, you're still stuck on the A. A glass or two. And you got you can think of your uh, middle finger as the anchor point there because from the A you're gonna pick up your index finger and move it over one, and you got your D minor there. Remember how we laughed away the hours? That's easy. Pick them up. And you just got your A minor there, right? And now you have to pick them all up. That's a B. It, B flat is more common in the the keys we usually play with ukulele, but that's it. It's the same as a B flat shape but up one fret. So think of all the great things we would do. If you are beginner's beginner, a stark raving beginner, as I like to say, and you have, you just can't do the E and want to play the song, you could play it. You could play it on an E7. You could even do that if you wanted to. But So you can do an E7 if you want, but or an E if you can manage it. Those were the days, my friend, and the rest is good enough. Next, uh, the next key, though. So, here we are back with the B flat minor, which is hard to start with. Harder than an A minor, certainly. B flat minor, okay. I saw your face. Okay, I, normally I do a B flat like this, right? But with this, I'm just as likely to stay barring. Here's why. So, through the door, I feel the came familiar laughter. I saw your face and heard you call my name. Because I need to do, I don't think I did this during the song actually, but if I leave it barred, then it's easy for me to do the E flat minor right there. Right? See how I've got my bar and my one finger in place already. I just dropped the others for the E flat minor. That works pretty simply, right? Pretty easy. Now, let me show you how that goes easily in the chorus, too. So, those were the days, my friend, we thought they'd never end. See, I hardly moved my fingers to drop that E flat minor. We'd sing and dance. Now, see, I was here, here, this shape, all I have to do is pick up a pinky. That's the right shape. Move up two frets. That's my G sharp. See how close these all are, right? B flat minor, E flat minor, pick up one finger, slide up, G sharp. And then here's the way I'm doing C sharp. There are a couple ways you could do it, but here's the way I'm doing it because then I'm gonna go right back to E flat minor, B flat minor, and then I do a weird F. I'm gonna slide down. 
would never do an F that way. I mean, you know, normally I'd do an F like this. That's the easy way with the two strongest fingers, right? Why would I do this using my middle fingers like that? Because I'm already shaped like that and I'm coming back up. I hardly have to move my fingers when I do it this way, right? All I have to do is drop one finger and slide down with fret. Da, 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 da. Oops, sorry. Da, 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 da. Sorry. And here's the drama at the end. La 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 la. La la la. Now here's you keep this shape. Just keep this shape. You're gonna go up to the third fret and then the tenth fret, and you might have to look to see. Especially it's helpful if you have side dots for this. But so I'm gonna go all the way up. But I'm just gonna keep the same shape. It's not hard. I've got the same shape. Here's my shape for a C sharp, right? Well, oops. Da. Same shape on the 10th fret. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to do a slow motion close up play along and to keep from boring you all through with everything, I'm going to go straight. I'm going to do the intro, verse 1, and straight to what would be, I guess, the third chorus. I'm going to go straight to the last chorus on, chorus on page one, and that way I can switch right to uh, the next page and change uh, the key with you, do one more chorus and the outro. So I'll be playing through each part of the song just once that way. So I'm going to jump straight instead of the first chorus the way you see it. I'm going to jump straight to the third chorus on that page. But that, other than that, I'm going to play it authentically slow motion, close up on my left hand so you can follow along with that if you want. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back off just a little bit so hopefully you can see a little of my right hand too because I'm doing some tricky things with that, but that's it. So if you want to stick around for that, stick around for that. If you don't want to, then don't. But hey, if you like the video, please like the video. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Of course it's free. You want lots more uh, downloadable ukulele song sheets, check out our Dropbox. They're free too. You want uh, to come play with us, check out our meetup page. And you'll see when and where. Usually it's Wednesdays, like every Wednesday. And uh, but we met today, so there are other times too. All right, here we go now. Let's see. Close up in slow motion from the intro. One, two, three, and. Through the door there came familiar laughter 
sir I saw your face and heard you call my name Oh my friend we're older but no wiser For in our hearts the dreams are still the same Those were the days, my friend We thought they'd never end We'd sing and dance forever and a day We'd live the life we choose We'd fight and never lose For those were the days Oh yes, those were the days That's it. See you Wednesday. Bye.